Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I want to make this video to give a quick update on what's been going on with Ultrasource Portfolio Solutions stock. This is one I've talked about a lot on my channel and there have been a couple of interesting developments that have been going on with this company. Now, if you don't know about this company, you can check out any of my past videos on it, but in short, this company performs foreclosure services. So when there's more foreclosures going on, this company will bring in more revenue, while in situations where there are a lower amount of foreclosures, uh, this company will tend to do pretty poorly. Now, the first thing that we're gonna talk about is not very good news for the company. Um, and that is that the administration announced an extension of the foreclosure moratorium again. So this is something that's honestly not very surprising. Obviously there was a moratorium put on foreclosures. So lenders were not allowed to foreclose on, some, on a property if someone is not making payments. And at first this was expected to last just until the end of 2020, but, but this is kept being extended and pushed back and pushed back. And so we got this newest announcement where um, these, this was supposed to end at the end of June, just in a couple of days, but now it's extended another month um, until July 31st, 2021. Now, when I first invested in this company last year, I knew this was going to be the biggest risk going forward because last year, the government essentially made it illegal for Ultrasource to conduct business by not allowing foreclosures to take place. And now this keeps getting pushed back and there's really no clear uh, answer to if this will just be pushed out indefinitely or if there is really a a hard cutoff date. Now, Biden did say that this is absolutely the last time they're extending this. So we said that July 31st should be the end, but we all know how these things are likely to play out. Um, I think it was Milton Freeman that said, there's nothing as permanent as a temporary government program. And so because of that, this is a serious risk for investing in this company. And so we'll see what happens on July 31st. As of now, there still is a little hope that that really will be the end of foreclosure moratorium. But, um, you know, if it gets pushed out again past then, at that point, it's anyone's guess. Um, you know, if it goes past July 31st, this program will probably be pushed out indefinitely. Now, here's another interesting piece of news I want to touch on, because I think it really displays the extent to which the government is affecting the situation. So this is uh, specifically for California. Um, so California has extended the eviction ban again, but they've said they're offering to pay back rent for tenants. So there's a law being proposed for California to pay off all back rent for eligible tenants under this deal. And of course, Gavin Newsom is says he is excited to sign this through. Um, here's the quote from him, I'm eager to sign into law as soon as I receive it. And so I think this just creates a huge moral hazard um, you know, for renters and for people that are behind on rent. Because you have this group of people that haven't been paying rent and the rent isn't just forgiven. They're still, they still owe that rent. They're just not required to pay it month by month. And so, you know, you have all these renters that haven't been paying. And even though a lot of them are probably thankful for these programs that are making them able to stay in their homes, odds are at least a portion of them feel a little bad for their landlords that probably use the rent payments to pay for the mortgage. And so because of that, I think you have a lot of these uh, renters that are trying to save money to eventually pay off um, you know, the rents that the back rent that they have accumulated. But now I think this just creates a huge moral hazard where why should the renters, you know, even start to save to pay back their back rent? They know the government's going to cover it. So now not only do they not have to pay rent, they don't, they also now don't have to worry about past rent that they've owed because now they know that the government's going to pick up the check. Um, so again, this is just not a good development for this company. And at this point, it's unknown how this is going to impact the company going forward over the next few years. Now, despite this glum data for a foreclosure company, the stock has actually jumped up quite a bit in the past two days. From under $7, now the stock is over $9, um, jumping almost 16% just yesterday. And this is because a very crucial piece of news that actually could change the future of the entire company. And that news is that Altasource has signed a revolving line of credit agreement. So they signed an agreement with the investment fund Deer Park Road Management, which is very interesting. We're gonna get, and we're gonna to get to why this is a special connection in a second, but they signed this revolving line of credit that is for three years, and it allows the company to borrow up to $20 million through 2022, 15 million through 2023, and 10 million until the end of the term. And there are also no financial covenants, which gives Aldosource flexibility to for how to use these funds. Now, just on its face, this is good news. Giving a company like Aldosource that is currently burning cash because they're not able to conduct business um, is a good thing. But what is also a very good sign is from who this credit facility is actually coming from. It's coming from Deer Park Road Management, which is actually a very large stockholder in Altasource stock. So if we take a look down here, Deer Park is an owner of 23% of the outstanding shares of Altasource. And so this is a very positive sign by a majority shareholder that they're not just making this loan to a desperate company to try to collect as much interest as they can, right? This lender is invested in the well-being 
of AltaSource as a company. They have real skin in the game. So, and so ultimately they want this company to succeed and not default on their loans. And so here's a quote from the company, we're pleased to secure this revolver from Deer Park. This demonstrates Deer Park's confidence in AltaSource's long-term prospects and provides us with additional liquidity while we are temporarily impacted by the pandemic. They anticipate that the demand for default-related business will begin to return at the end of this year and stabilize in 2023. And so I think this is about as good of news as AltaSource could have gotten. Right now, it's still very unclear how long uh, these these moratoriums are going to be pushed out for and this loan just gives them so much more flexibility to survive through however long it lasts. Now on my last video on AltaSource I actually stated my concern for the rate that they've been burning cash and how they probably would only last another year um, you know if their revenues didn't start to pick back up. Now with this new credit agreement um, you know it puts them in a much better spot financially and it gives them backing from a majority shareholder which again shows their faith in the company to be able to return to massive profitability um, you know after this indefinite period where the default business is not having much action so that's really the update for this company in terms of my position i haven't bought or sold any of altasource um, really in a while i don't think i've bought or sold any um, this year i think my average cost is around 10 11 dollars so we're almost back up there i'm not sure how long this run in the stock will continue um, i wouldn't be surprised at all if it if the stock falls back down to where it was trading before this announcement. But I do think this puts the company in a much better spot financially and really gives them the flexibility that they need to get through however long this period takes. So that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, leave a like on the video and comment down below if you have any thoughts on this company or what their plan is going forward. So that's it for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.